Have a banana, Hannah. Try the salami, Tommy. Give with the gravy, Davy. Everybody eats when they come to my house. Try a tomato plate, too. Here's cacciatore, Dory. Taste the bologna, Tony. Everybody eats when they come to my house. I fix your favorite dishes, hoping this good food fills ya. Work my hands to the bone in the kitchen alone. You better eat if it kills ya. Pass me a pancake, man, drink. Have an derby, Irvy. Look in the Fendel, Mendel. Everybody eats when they come to my house. Beautiful sunny day here in Tehachapi, California. We're going inside of the Village Grill. And once again, we're on the Epicurean Trail. What do you hope to have? Not what I'm ex what I hope to have, but probably won't have. I've been looking for eggs Florentine for a bit. Eggs Florentine. Don't think so. But we'll probably have oatmeal and waffles. We'll see. Thank you very much. I'm going to have corned beef hash and eggs. Scrambled eggs and. Yeah, I'm shocked. Shocked, shocked, mind you, to find out that there's corned beef hash here. No, that you're going to order it. I do not see. Oh, they have bagels. I'm going to have a bagel. Oh, I'm sorry to report they have cinnamon roll French toast. Huh? I said, I'm sorry to report they have cinnamon roll French toast. Oh, are you going to get that? Mm -hmm. I know it's crap because I didn't wash it after I went swimming. That's it's okay. Really That's okay. We're on the Epicurean Trail. Yeah. Like the pioneers. <laughs> I wonder what restaurants, uh, uh, what Sierra and all those guys stopped at on their way up north. I don't know. They do not have eggs. Um, Florentine. Florentine. I was going to say Sardou, but that's up at the... the they have eggs Benedict? <laughs> the Ca Cajun Cafe. No, they don't have Benedict. No. But they do have a zucchini omelet, which I'm considering. Except I got waylaid by the siren song of the... Same as little French toast, which I really shouldn't have, but they would be like the other half. You're not going to eat it yet. It is on, right? Yes. It's blinking at me. <laughs> Goodbye. More later. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. It's here. My corned beef hash, hash browns, scrambled eggs, bagel, oh. the zucchini omelet. Home and fries. Home fries. Mm -hmm. And English butter. And in a few minutes, we'll let you know. I'm sure it's going to be good. Well, that's how much I like my breakfast. Marlene's still working on hers. She had a uh, little tooth work done. It's a little tender up there. So uh, I have to be careful where I'm, yeah. where I'm chewing. There's bacon bits and stuff and she has to be careful not to bite down on it. And make anything worse until she can get in and get the rest of the work done. I'm going to give this four and a half um, Joshua trees because everything was good. Don't get me wrong. Everything was really good. Except, well, I'm not, not except. But the corned beef hash, it was canned hash. It was good. 
It was canned. We've gone to a few places where they make it. No, the best hash I had was that place in Pismo. Was the rail car? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that was yes, it. that was the, the a little jazz more cafe. For you? I'm sorry. Oh, sure. Okay, I'll be back with you. That was great. That was good. Anyway, more later. Okay, this was the Village Grill in the beautiful <laughs> downtown Tehachapi. And we're going over to that place next, Conan's Bakery. Got to get some yummy bread. Actually, that place is the shed. The shed. We're going further than that. We're going further than the shed. I need a good shed in my yard. That's what I need. It's a good shed. That's a good one. Okay. More later. Okay, we're heading into the Ontario Mills Red Lobster. Thank you for joining me on another adventure of Mojave Patrol Epicurean Trail. Our yummy biscuits came. I love those. They're very uh, scrumptious. I devoured one already. So did I. Oh wait, there's a piece of a biscuit. Well, I've got some big crumbs. Mm. Oh, another piece. I gotta save one mm. for my mm. soup. You wanna come home with us for a uh, breakfast? We'll see if they survive. Okay, we just finished up at um, Red Lobster. Am I bumping your head? Did it hurt? We just finished up at Red Lobster, and I'm going to give it three and three quarters Josh trees. And I'll tell you why. You realize there's no value really to the Joshua trees. <laughs> Joshua trees have a lot of value. They only they only grow in the United States or in California. And Israel, mm -hmm. or the Holy Land. They only grow in two places. But the reason I'm giving it a low amount of trees is because Marlene's potatoes are pretty pasty. Yeah, they were definitely over whipped. They were not very fluffy. No, they were not fluffy. I had the flounder. It was delicious. I had the lobster bisque, which is always fabulous. We, I had the, um, I upgraded my side to the Brussels sprouts, and they were delicious. So I was happy with my meal. And, uh, well, I was happy with mine. I got the shrimp. I got extra shrimp. The quinoa rice was pretty flavorless. I don't know what it was supposed to taste like, but it just tasted like cooked white rice. There was no flavor in it. And I did not add salt or pepper. But the Caesar salad was good. The shrimp were good. They double, so I got extra shrimp, but they didn't give me extra cocktail sauce. And, of course, the second I wanted extra cocktail sauce, all the waitresses vanished. You know, <laughs> it was just a coincidence. One thing, I don't recall whether it was house-made or what it was, but there was some special root beer and or cream soda, and he had the cream soda. It was yes. really good. Cream soda was really good. We were teetotalers tonight. <laughs> but aside from uh, that, except from the potatoes and the rice, which are sides, <clears throat> um, the main courses and everything were really, really good. They were very good. Now, it's a little pricey, but still, it was, everything, it, is. It, it, yeah, everything, everything is. is, but it was good. It was very yummy. Anyway, that's it for today. Unless something spectacular happens in a little bit. Thanks for joining us on the uh, Epicurean Trail with the uh, Mojave Patrol. Later, Mater. Yes, look to Packard for the easiest handling car ever built. America's new choice in the fine car field.